Hello everybody, this is Mark Schreier. I'm a realtor with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate out of Sayoset, New York. And I'm here with an attorney and she will introduce herself. I'm Sandra Radna. I have an office in Melville, New York, and I have over 25 years of experience helping people with residential real estate closings, both buyers and sellers. Great, and Sandra has agreed to answer some questions in relation to the whole of buying and selling real estate process. So stay tuned for that. Sandra is going to explain what are the things that a seller needs uh, to have all ready for the attorney to make the process run as smoothly as possible. Thank you, Mark. So really the process of selling your house starts actually before you put your house for sale because the things that can slow down a transaction are things like certificates of occupancy that are not ready, violations uh, that are against the property, liens that are against the property. Those are all things that happen after the contract, you'll get a title search done. So to prepare for it, to make sure everything goes smoothly, if you had work done on your house and you're not sure if there was a certificate of occupancy or a certificate of completion, those are all things that you should find out before you place your house on the market. And how you find it out is you know that you had a pool put in your house, you know they gave you a permit, you can go down to your local county clerk's office and find out that information. Or you can talk to the person who did the work and make sure that they did it, depending on how long ago it was. If it was recent, you could probably call whoever the contractor was who did the work and ask them if they filed the proper paperwork and then you could follow up. So that's very important for you to do beforehand. If you have all that information, as soon as you get your purchaser, you're ready with the contract, you can have all that information to give to your attorney because those are the questions that they'll always have. The other thing is if you had a survey done recently on your property or even if you have an old survey, you should have that available for your attorney as well as the current deed that you have for the house. If you have all that information, that's information that could all be used when preparing the contract. It makes everything go nice and smoothly, which is what everybody wants. So you can get your closing date sooner rather than later. Great information. Sandra, is there a limit for a survey? Like let's say the house was built in the 50s and it's the original survey. Is that problematic sometimes? Sometimes, because sometimes if it's a very old survey, they didn't require all the certificates of occupancy or all the permits that are required now. Now there's some, so depending on the county or the township, they might either grandfather it in or they might say they don't grandfather it in. So those, that's information you would find out when you did the title search, but if you have the original deed and the original documents that you had, it at least gets the process started so that the rest of the transaction can run smoothly. Great, this is Mark Schreier and Sandra Radna, and thanks for listening.